So how do you know if you have depression or anxiety? So everyone feels sad and anxious time to time here and there. And it's built in everybody's life. Your mood and anxiety levels depend on what's going on in your life. When you experience an event that's emotionally challenging and you relive your past over and over again, it can make you feel sad. And when we're going through stressful events in our lives or fearing the unknown, it can make us feel anxious. So when is it something to look into? So when do we know that, okay, we need some help with our anxiety or depression? Well, it's when it's out of proportion, okay? So if you're feeling sad continuously, a lot of the times and it's intense, or if you're feeling anxious, intense feeling again, consistently, then you know that you might have a problem. Because if you look around you, there would be nothing to be sad about or to feel anxious about. Like there would be no threat to your life in terms of being anxious or there'd be no current situation that's making you feel sad. So that would obviously be something of where you've time traveled, whether it's the past or, or the future. And that's what's making you feel sad or anxious. So if you're stuck in that time zone, then it does look like you would need help. So if these feelings stick around more than they're meant to, then yes, you might be suffering from depression disorder or anxiety disorder. And they're both medical conditions that can be treated. Treatment could entail of prescribed medication or talking therapies like counseling, uh, CBT, uh, so forth.